Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another episode here on the MI Gardener channel. In today's episode, we're going to be preserving zucchini. Now, this is a, a real common question we get because zucchini is something that produces so much at such an, uh, an abundance that people are often overwhelmed with zucchini. And they're, you know, kind of shoving to their neighbors, hey, take some of my zucchini. <laughs> and we've given a lot away as well. But we definitely want to preserve some for the off season for things like soups and zucchini bread and uh, zucchini brownies, zucchini cake. Um, it, I mean, any of these pasta dishes, um, it's it's just delicious, absolutely amazing. Ratatouille, um, you know, there's so many different dishes that you can use it in, and I absolutely love all of them because zucchini is so healthy, so rich in water, and it's just great for the body. So uh, we love growing lots of zucchini. We're definitely inundated with tons of it during the growing season, so we're just preserving some of it now. Uh, in fact, last night, Cindy and I prepared a ton of it, so what I'm going to show you is kind of um, skip the step. The first thing you want to do is cut it up. You want to cut off the, the stem end and the flower end and then just cut it up into about quarter inch to half inch uh, thick pieces. Um, obviously the thicker is, is a little bit better because it um, it kind of retains its texture once it's unthawed because you will lose a little bit of that texture once it does unthaw and it just naturally happens. The membranes expand in the cells um, and that's like why if you put a, a pop can in the a sealed pop can in the freezer, it'll explode and rupture because water expands when it freezes. So um, having having those cells full of water uh, and then rupturing, it, that's why things that are frozen and unthawed typically are a little bit more limp. Um, so you can you can uh, get by just with like a half inch slice and it'll be great. Um, if you're going any thinner, they do say blanching it will kind of prevent that. But I find it's a, it's a real unnecessary step. So where you need to be right now is just get your zucchini, chop it up into half inch slices or cubes. We did a little bit of both. So uh, and we're gonna we're going to prepare our bags with uh, behind us. We're going to be using the Food Saver vacuum sealing system, and uh, it's a real cool system. I'll show you how it works, uh, and uh, you can check it out. It's a it's a new t uh, new tool we've been using on the homestead. And uh, it's just been a great way to preserve our harvest um, when it comes to freezing. Um, just keeps them a lot fresher. I was using Ziploc bags for a very long time, and there's just no way to get all of that air out. And that air is the thing that contributes to some of your food spoilage and uh, prevents the shelf or kind of limits the shelf life. So uh, check it out; it's really cool. Cindy and I are really excited to have this uh, be an asset to our to our channel. So hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy this. Let's go. All right, so this is the Food Saver 4400. This is the one that we've been using. Um, I like it because it has a few additional perks to it um, that are uh, a little bit better than the entry level model. We were debating on getting the entry level model versus this one, um, but this one is real nice because it has uh, for, for like, um, they make these resealable bags that you can suction out the air for like cheese and things like that and fruit that you're just temporarily storing in the fridge. Uh, that's really nice. Um, also for mason jars, you can actually suck the air out of mason jars using this. Um, and I have not yet done that, but this attachment is available on the 4400 model. But also the real nice perk that I really like is this, which has a roll storage. Um, the sealing mechanism is down here and the entry level model does not have all of this. You have to pre-cut your bags with like scissors and having all that stuff on hand can be a little bit of a hassle. But for this, you just pull out what you need and then I prefer kind of like a quart size bag. I, I just pre-make the quart size bags. I pre-cut a bunch of them, which I've done, and uh, about how many I think I'm gonna need. I probably still need a few more. But then what's really nice is that all of this is actually automated. So you press what you need. There's a seal button, a food button, um, and that's dry or moist. So depending on what you're sealing, for instance, if we're vacuum packing um, blanched beans, we'll switch that to moist because there's a lot of moisture but frozen is relatively dry, so we'll make sure it's set on the dry setting. Then you have your power setting. It's just super, super dummy proof, which is great because I'm a bit of a dummy when it comes to this kind of thing. So um, if you're just heat sealing the bag, the first thing you do, see because it's open, it's open on uh, both ends. We're going to seal, press seal, and that's going to simply heat seal your bag. And then um, it's going to have a status light here when this, uh, when the light, when the red light goes out, it means it's done. And right now, it's just putting a a seal. It's just putting a seal on the bag. So now, now it is heat sealed here. 
And so I'm gonna do the rest of these bags and then we'll grab our zucchini out of the freezer so we can actually start vacuum packing them. All right, so here's the trick to freezing zucchini. You actually want to pre-freeze all of your zucchini discs like this or the cubes, however you have cut it, and you wanna put it onto wax or parchment paper and just kind of stack them up. Because zucchini, because it's kind of, it's very moist, what'll happen is it'll freeze together and then you have two pieces that are impossible to unstick and then when you unthaw them, they'll all rip apart. This is how you can keep the integrity of your, of your slices and you just wanna, you just wanna freeze it up. You can, contrary to what people say, you can stack your sheath. It's actually really, really easy. And you wanna pre-freeze these. Um, I let them go at least a couple hours, but these actually went overnight. Cause like I said, we did them last night. Um, and I didn't, we didn't wanna wake up Geneva. So I pretty much just said, we'll just do it in the morning. Um, which was good because the lighting was actually better as well for this video. Um, and so then you just take your freezer bags here and now uh, you can just load them in. That's the real nice thing is it actually makes it way, way easier. Um, trust me on this. I, I know so many people, um, they, they try to, you know, cut corners when it comes to, when it comes to, uh, freezing zucchini and it's just not worth it. It's absolutely not worth it. Um, the nice thing, the nice thing is that you can actually reuse this wax paper here because it's just, uh, it's just a nonstick. You just want the nonstick surface. Um, to keep the zucchini from sticking to the other zucchini below. Um, so I'm gonna throw this in, and then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna throw them in the in the food saver. So um, I like to like to make sure there's enough enough to for a good sized meal. Um, that way you're you're getting the most bang for your buck out of your freezer bags. And you, you always want to leave you want to um, you want to leave two inches on this side and two inches on this side because it's going to create that seal. So you don't want to go up too much higher, uh, very much higher than probably about here on the bag. So that's, uh, that's a good good uh, way to tell uh, where to stop. Okay, there we go. And I also like to make sure that it's relatively flat because when they stack in the freezer, it's it's nice that there's not a whole lot of bulging. So that's pretty, pretty flat. So I'm gonna stop there and let's go seal it up. All right, so what's really nice about this is you don't press this button. This is only to heat seal. The seal button is only to seal the bags uh, for that first initial strip. This actually has a sensor in it that you pull the bag tight like that and then just insert it and it does the rest for you. Now see what I did there is you can actually press seal to cancel the process and it will actually, um, it will stop the, the vacuuming because what happens is the vacuum sealer, the vacuum sealer will actually continue sealing until the sensor uh, reaches a certain pressure in the bag. And when the, when, and that means there's like zero air left in the bag. But sometimes what happens, what I find is that with large pieces like this, the pressure will be so great that it cracks a lot of the zucchini and also with things like beans, um, you don't want it sucking a lot of the water because it'll it'll start to suck a ton of water out, and that'll prevent the bag from sealing properly. You can you can uh, you can abort the sealing process, or not really abort the sealing process, but you can abort the the vacuuming process and go right to sealing the bag at any stage in the vacuuming process. Look at that, ready to go, fresh and preserved. So there is freezing zucchini. I do hope you try this method. It is by far one of my most favorite methods. There are other methods out there um, like pickling, dehydrating, and canning. I would prefer to, uh, to, de to dehydrate some as well. We just don't have a dehydrator on hand. So Excalibur, if you're watching, <laughs> I'd love to partner with, uh, with a company out there that, does, that has food dehydrators. So if there's any watching, Hit us up, um, contact.migardener at gmail.com. We'd love to work with you. Um, we just don't have a dehydrator here. Um, otherwise, we'd do that as well. I like to have at least two methods of food preservation, just so I'm not putting all of my eggs in one basket because um, one of the big things about freezing is yes, if the power goes down or if you, you lose power or your freezer breaks, all that food is gone. So we did just buy the freezer that we have that we're putting all this stuff in. So it's one of those things that, um, I'm fairly confident that it won't break on us, but if the power were to ever go down or something like that, still 
you, you run the risk of losing your food. So I do like to at least put my eggs in two baskets. Uh, and, uh, and that's why um, with most of our things, we'll do, you know, we'll do two different uh, methods. Um, it's just with canning and pickling, you lose a lot of the nutrients and texture and, and freshness and things like that, that I really would never do pickling and canning for zucchini. Um, but yes, dehydrating and freezing would be uh, go-to methods for zucchini. Um, but it's just a great way to preserve the freshness and, and the stuff that you get right from the garden um, that you have an abundance of, so you can eat it during the off season. And so I hope you try this, hope you enjoy it. Um, as always, uh, I really hope that you are, are learning something from these episodes. I put these out there to encourage you guys, to make it simple for you guys, and um, and even if you don't have a food saver, you can use a Ziploc bag. I've done it for years. It's just uh, these will stay fresh about two to three times longer than a Ziploc bag. So um, just know that going in that you know you got to eat it, got to eat it quicker than you would with with these, um, which is fine because uh, you know the the sooner you eat it, the better. Um, definitely freshest is always the best option. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed, hopefully you learned something new. There will be links to all the equipment that we're using in the description box, uh, an Amazon affiliate link. If you wanna help support the show, you can check those out. Uh, and uh, and hey, like I said, I don't ever promote things on this channel that we don't use ourselves and love. So uh, I can stand behind it and we enjoy it. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Catch you later, grow up your go home. Bye.